Hey, Jake with B&H. I brought the entire B&H film crew along with social media star Maria, she's behind the camera, all the way up to the wilderness to shoot with Zeiss Batiste lens lineup. And we're matching them up with Sony mirrorless cameras. We have the a7 III, a7R III, a7R IV, and the A9 Mark II. Today's theme is lumberjack chic, so we all wore our best plaid and hiking boots. Because today we're having a bit of a photographer's shoot off. Each one of us gets to shoot with the body and one of the lenses, and whoever has the best photo wins. Whoa, whoa. Wins what? Uh, it's a surprise. I, I thought there was money in this. <sighs> Don't worry about it. We're burning daylight. Let's go. We got Dave here. He's got the A9 Mark II with the 18 millimeter size Batiste lens. That's the widest lens they offer. I think he's going for landscapes. Yeah. Nice. Okay, so Matt has the A7R4 with the 135. That's the longest lens in the Batiste lens lineup. We call it a short telephoto. It's definitely for portraiture. Do you want me to go with model for you? Sure. All right, I'm going. So Matt, I'm gonna give you my like cold, shivered, scared face. <laughs> so Bobby has the, which camera you got? This is the A7R3. A7R3 with the 85 millimeter Zeiss. 1.8. 1.8, and he wants me to go out on the bridge. Please. All right, I'm going. Thank you. All right. See you, Hawk. Paparazzi, am I right? Let's keep going, guys. Come on, let's go. Enough with me. Come on. There's nature around here. All right, so Doug here has the A7R3. Yes, I do. And what lens do you have on there? I have the 40 F2. It's razor sharp. And it's so much lighter than it looks, which is the weird thing. Yeah. It, I thought it was going to have this, you know, super heavy feel to the mm -hmm. front, but it's actually really mm -hmm. nice. All right, now it's my turn. I got my hands on the Zeiss 25 F2, and now I'm going to go shoot my boys, Lumberjack Chic. Here we come. All right. Show me what you got here, boys. This is the album cover, okay? It's the B&H album cover. And to me, action. Lumberjack Chic, debut album, streaming now. All right, so we took a little break from the boardwalk to uh, explore the Delaware River, and we got ourselves a canoe, and uh, we're gonna go get in that and take some more photos. All right, who's going in first? You are. All right, yeah, it's are. me. <laughs> oh my God. No, no, okay. Right. <sighs> yep. Right, you guys better be taking pictures of this. <laughs> I'm only doing it once. <laughs> Any directions, guys? Anything you want me to do? Yeah, don't fall in. Don't fall in. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try that as best I can. Doug, what did you make mostly focus mostly on? Mostly on the 85, a little bit of the 135. Having a fixed focal length it really makes you think in a different way. It does. It does. Uh, you know, a lot of people are reaching for the zooms these days. Yeah. First off, and you know, it's definitely valid, but um. The great thing about primes is that you kind of are forced to go and shoot in a very particular way, especially if you're dealing with something like uh, on either extreme end. So the 135, for example, um, and the 18, definitely. I just find if you embrace going like as close as you can to somebody, making it weird, just letting it go, mm -hmm. you'll get a good shot. But uh, it's definitely not something that you know most people are prepared to do. They're ready to just zoom right to where they feel is comfortable. The nice thing about primes is like, especially nice primes like these, is fall off is really, mm -hmm. really pretty. Mm -hmm. The bokeh is some of the best Just in the really business. Nice. Yeah. Hands down, hands down. Dave, what about you, buddy? You really got to get out of your comfort range. 
Um, you know, you got to step up, get close, uh, make it weird, you know, maybe a little touch angles here and there. But um, with the primes, it forces you out of that. Because, I mean, it's easy to just go with like a 70 or an 85. You know, any, you can take a nice uh, portrait of someone. But sure. with the wider lens and this atmosphere out here, it's just like you got to get really creative. Did I uh, pass as a lumberjack chic? Yeah, I think so, yeah. yeah. All right, cool. So that's, that's enough of this water. It's almost frozen. Let's go back to the boardwalk. Cool. Got it. All right, let's go. All right, so about halfway through, I say it's about dead even. Uh, they've now swapped lenses. They're each playing with a new lens. So far, everything's looking really, really nice and super lumberjack chic. Lumberjack chic. Come on, Matt. All right, so Dave now has swapped from the 18 to the 135. Quite a drastic change. Uh, what are you What are you trying to shoot now, mostly, you think? Uh, mostly portraits, but I'm trying to get stuff in the foreground so that you can see how far away that I am. Mm -hmm. so I got a nice picture of Doug, maybe 25, 20 feet away from me. Oh, wow, yeah. I love how buttery this one looks. It's everything, the fall off is just very, very beautiful. So I love that so far. I've only had it for a few minutes. But that's the thing that I... Uh, you can't stop taking photos. I no, guess. I know. I don't want to give this lens up. So whoever gave this one up... They've lost it. They lost the photo <laughs> challenge for real. Because <laughs> I'm winning it. <laughs> I've been instructed to walk out into the field to give them even more variety of shots. So uh, here I go. Let's go, guys. Competition's heating up. <laughs> no, Dave, this is Lumberjack Chic. I got Doug here with the 18. I got Dave all the way back there at the 135. Wow, he's getting real close. I know. Give me something Doug, get out wild. Come on. It's like, throw your arms out. Oh. No, I'm not like, uh, like, same, yeah, like that, but more, up more. Woo! All right. I mean, you want this and then turn? All right, we're about halfway through this beautiful boardwalk. A little check-in, guys. How do we feel about what we're shooting so far? Are we liking Great. what we're seeing? Yeah. Liking it. Liking it a lot. Yeah. Does anybody think they have the winning shot so far? Oh, I've got two of them ready. Woo! Dave talks a big game. Anybody else? I doubt I, got I do. I got three winning shots. <laughs> What about you, Matt? Oh, several. Several. <laughs> Doug, you don't have one? I'm a humble man. Excuse me. All right, let's keep shooting, guys. Come on, let's go. Jeez. has the 40 millimeter CF, which stands for close focusing, and he made a pretty cool comment. You're gonna say this is pretty good for macro. It's great for macro. I mean, I'm, I'm right up in there getting some nice. Oh, wow, look at that. Moss shots. Woo. Yeah. That's in the running. Oh, look at those leading that? lines. Yes. Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> he blocked the shot. The Zeiss Batiste lenses are a complete optical lineup for any photographer who wants sharp, beautiful images. And they're a perfect match for Sony mirrorless camera bodies. And I know what you're thinking, they're a lot of money, but it's an investment. An investment that's gonna pay off for you artistically and financially. If you like this video and you wanna see more, please click subscribe. This is Jake with BH. Oh, Whoa, who won the shoot off? Who won the shoot off? Oh, who oh, won? right, the hey. shoot off. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. You're all winners. Woo! All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
Where's the, where's the cash? Where's the money? Oh, yeah, but where's the money? Oh, the money. Yeah. Hey, the money. Yeah, the money. right. That's, um, I got it here. Oh, no, you don't. <laughs>